Unfortunately, the Fox television show America's Most Wanted has been spending too much time in New Mexico covering a number of stories, and they're working on a couple of more stories. And to tell us more about that is producer Jenna Naranjo, who joins us this morning. Jenna, thanks so much for being with us. Thank you. And welcome back to New Mexico. Thank you. Pawaki, uh, Española native. That's right. Very good. Well, it's good to see you and glad you're here. But you have some serious business to cover. You're back covering uh, right now the uh, West Mesa murder mysteries again. We are. It's, it's a case that we want to follow until the very end. We've aired this case three times. Uh, we plan on airing it again for a fourth time um, on April 3rd. That's tentative, of mm -hmm. course. But there are a few updates in this case that we'd like to share with our viewers. And uh, this is a case where you're still hoping to maybe somebody will see something where we can track down the killer. All 11 remains have now been identified, the missing pieces. Who did this? That's right. I met with the chief this morning, and he describes this case as a puzzle that you know, even the pieces are broken in this puzzle. Mm -hmm. They've solved a huge bulk of this puzzle. They've identified the women. Now that one big piece is missing, and that's the identity of the suspect. And, of course, uh, the big part of your show is to have people watch, look, and say, hey, I remember something about this particular case. That's the way our show works. Mm -hmm. I think that's our specialty. And I think that we can really help with this. Um, someone out there knows something, particularly maybe a woman who is familiar with the streets, maybe a prostitute, mm -hmm. who has encountered this suspect and was lucky enough to get away. We need those people to call. Um, you know, our, our hotline is 1-800-CRIME-TV, mm -hmm. and the important thing is that our viewers can remain anonymous with their tips. I know, I know another story that you're working on is one that's really shook New Mexico 20 years ago, the Las Cruces Bowling Alley murders. You've been in Las Cruces. What have you learned about that particular case? We just got back from Las Cruces yesterday. And the funny thing is, you know, this is a case that's gone unsolved for 20 years, but it's not a case that hasn't stopped affecting the community there. They still care very much about that case. There are two suspects still on the run. You know, this was a massacre that left seven people, four people injured, three people dead, mm -hmm. and we'd really just like to see that case closed. I know that there were some witnesses to that case, at least some part, uh, partial witnesses, so there's a little bit of uh, description of who may have perpetrated this. Right now there are composite sketches. Mm -hmm. You know, thank God that there were, were witnesses. Um, they were able to help police build these composite sketches. I'm sure you've, you've shown them on yes. your show here. We have them on our website website at amw.com you know and someone can look at that sketch and even though it's been a long time you'd be surprised what a sketch like that can do for a case Jenna Narano thank you so much for being with us today we really appreciate the update look forward to watching the, the segments thank you